you are obviously a very unique individual, right? I mean, most people aren't like you. I think you know that. You, you have a, a, a different form of intelligence, a different way of viewing the world, which has driven all these actions. Yeah. So you, through this experience, I'd say, wow, you found a way to create success you know, in your unique way. I mean, not many people are walking into, into uh, restaurant supply stores and buying, you know, uh, waiter pads and saying, oh, the form of this is perfect to create ideas and right? It's, it, and and this, is, this is genius. The question I have though is, are there fundamental principles that you've learned based on your experience, because you've had some very tough yes. experiences, that are applicable to us mere mortals over here? Yeah, and, and by the way, I am the merest of the mortals. <laughs> What happened where I built a company, sold it, made millions, and lost everything mm -hmm. happened to me four times in a row over the next 10 years, where I built a company, made it between one and 10 million, depending on the company, and then lost every dime of it. Every dime. And I, so you did it three more times after that first one. Yeah, three, maybe four. Right. I, I try not to remember it all. <laughs> I remember one time I was like, Again, I had done everything stupid. I had built a company, sold it for 10 million, bought two houses right next to each other and had a hammock right between the houses. <laughs> and I was lying in the hammock, dead broke. This was about, again, about eight months after I had sold the company. And I was dead broke and it started raining. And I'm like, I just was too depressed to get out of this hammock. And you, you can't really get out of a hammock anyway, <laughs> unless someone's helping you. And and I thought to myself, man, did this really happen again? Like, I am so tired of doing this. Like, I can't, I don't have the energy anymore to do this. And, and, and it was, I felt so sorry for myself. And I was also getting a divorce. I was losing these houses. I mean, literally, the IRS had boarded up these houses and I was lying in this hammock. And so finally, I said to myself, well, what, what worked for me on the way up each time? And what was, what was I doing wrong on the way down. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to make it as simple as possible. And I had read at this point also every self-help book. They weren't really working for me. They're like, it's like getting a vitamin B injection in the morning. Like it kind of holds you through the day and then you're depressed, you know, then you're dead at night. <laughs> and so nothing, nothing was helping me. And so I just decided, what, what am I doing? What is going wrong here? So I realized on the way up each time, there were, uh, it happened to me so many times, I didn't even need to do a scientific experiment. I was the scientific experiment. I, had a, I was statistically significant all by myself. <laughs> so, so what was going right for me on the way up was that I was basically taking care of myself in four different ways. And ever since then, at night, I will check the box. Did I do these four things? And so, and I got very esoteric how I analyze this, but just the basics is, was I, was I, physically healthy? Was I, was I doing something to make myself physically healthy and taking care of myself? Because if the extreme is if you're sick in bed, you're not going to come up with ideas and you're not going to execute on them. Mm -hmm. Execution being as important as ideas because execution is a subset of ideas. Many people, there's a spectrum of execution. You can execute poorly or you can execute well and you need to have good execution ideas to execute well. So anyway, if you're sick in bed, you can't do that. So I do everything I can to be as healthy as possible. I'm not, I don't always eat as well as I could, uh, but I try always to be as better than, or, or do activities that were a little healthier than the day before. So that's physical. Emotional, I wanted to be around good people who I loved, who loved me back. And as easy as that sounds, I hadn't been doing that. And I don't think, I don't want to say most people don't do it. I don't want to judge, but just judging when I started writing about this and judging from the responses I got, a very typical email I would get was, I got in bed with the wrong partners. I just found out my husband was cheating on me and now I'm going through this ugly divorce and so I don't have time to start a business. So if you're not emotionally taking care of yourself and your relationships, you're not going to have energy to start a business and to succeed or to be great at something. To, to master a skill, whatever. Creativity, you know, writing these 10 ideas a day. That very first time I did it, I felt excited. It's like new neurons were connecting in my brain. And that was on day one. After six months of doing it, I literally felt like 
this waiter's pad was like a superpower. And the neurons were, were firing constantly. For instance, I mentioned that first time I was losing that first house and I lived three blocks from ground zero. So not, while I had got was going broke, 9-11 also happened and it was a crime scene. You couldn't, I couldn't sell the house. So while I was going broke, living in one of the most expensive apartments, unfortunately, in New York City, <laughs> which was hard to maintain, the FBI was not letting people visit my house. I couldn't sell the house and it, and it was horrible. Obviously, 9-11 was much worse than my problem selling a house, but still, I couldn't sell the house. So finally, even that creativity, like starting this year, I started figuring out how to sell my house. Like every, I, I started to feel like you could just drop me off in the desert and I will figure my way out just because everything was firing off. Everything was inspiring me to be creative. Does every human being possess the capacity for creativity? Absolutely. So because, it's, it's inherent in everybody. Yeah, I mean, I think I had practice a little bit. My sales technique was to basically be creative for the client. So I was practicing already some creativity, mm -hmm. but not and but when I got depressed, I had lost all my creativity. And but but writing 10 ideas a day down and making yourself really sweat. I always know I've got a good list if by item number 7, I'm counting. Have I hit 10 yet? I can't come up with three more. And I just push myself. The so this is not it. waiting for inspiration. This is discipline. You cannot wait for inspiration. So it's basically, I got to do 10. And if I'm not feeling creative, I have to put myself, I have to flex that muscle, basically. Every single day, I will do it. Now, I haven't done it every single day, but I'll get to that in a second. Yeah. But when going up, when things are going right, physical, emotional, creative, I have to work on all those. And then what I'll call spiritual, but I don't mean it like in the way of, you know, it's a fill in the blanks kind of spiritual in the sense that um, you have to recognize what items in your life you can't control and what you can't control. Because again, everything is about energy. If I spend too much time wondering, why did this client reject me? Or why does this person not like me? Why did they not return my calls? Why did they stop talking mm -hmm. to me? Or why did this newspaper cancel my column? Or this publisher not accept my book? Or this investor not invest? If I spend too much time worrying about the things I can't control, I won't have energy to maximize the things I can't control. Mm -hmm. So oddly, I will put that in the spiritual category. Mm -hmm. And so, so I have almost viewed it as four separate bodies the physical body, emotional body, creative body, spiritual body. And just like you might have a heart attack in your physical body if, if your blood's cut off, mm -hmm. I sort of imagined in my mind there was this invisible blood going back and forth between all four bodies. And if you were blocked or stuck in any one of these bodies, you'd get a heart attack, a, a metaphorical heart attack, and you wouldn't be the optimal person to be, that, that succeeds. You aren't stuck. There is something you can do to claim the life you want. Wealth breakthroughs can change everything. Yours is waiting. For the first time ever, Mastering Wealth is about to go from hard to easy with Wealth Breakthroughs.